Hi there. Today's project is going to be a lot of fun. It's one of my favorites and my students love it too. And it uses a common household thing. Uh, things, I should say. Rubber bands and Q-tips. So, let's get started. So for today's project, we need Q-tips. Um, cotton swabs. And I bought mine in a huge box at Target. And they're really fairly inexpensive. Um, you also need a rubber band and a palette to put paint on. And I use ice cream lids. They are the best. And I reuse them and reuse them. And I, this one's really, really old. And with acrylic paint on here, you just peel it off or um, rinse it off. Uh, just be careful when it goes down your drain. So if you can, wait for it to dry, peel it off, throw it away, and then it doesn't go down your drain. Uh, you will also need white paint. And I use Blick, Blick acrylic. It's a acrylic paint from um, Dick Blick or Blick Art Materials. And I have a black also from Blick. And then I have a, this time I have, I, I have another color that's a, um, from Blick also, but this one I just chose. I grabbed out of my um, box for the students. This is Liquitech Basics. Uh, it's red paint. Now, if you don't have any of this brand, that doesn't matter. Brand doesn't matter in this situation, but you do need acrylics and you need a white, a black, and a color because what we're doing is a monochromatic project. Now, monochromatic, mono means one, okay? Mono is one and it's a prefix. So you'll find it in other um, other words where it says mono and then another word. Um, but chromatic means color or chroma means color. So monochromatic means one color. And in this situation, we're using red and we will have a dark that we will mix with it and a light that we'll mix it with it, but it will be all the same color. So let's get started. Now, I just grabbed out 20 Q-tips and I'm going to put them all together, stack them up, because this is going to be your painting tool. You are not gonna use a brush today, you are going to use Q-tips. So I have wrapped them with that rubber band. Now the great thing about these is that since they're double-ended, you can do uh, a project um, with a color on one end and then if you switch out and want to do another monochromatic project, you still have this end. So we're going to get started. I'm going to put my red. Now my rule is you can always put out more paint but you can't put it back in the tube. So don't put too much. You can always get more out. Some plastic. Okay, and then the white. So mostly I need the red. Okay, so we have a good, a good amount there. So I want to start, I want to go dark to light, okay? So I'm going to start with um, with the black and a bit of the red, okay? I still want the color in there. I'm going to do this. And this is really easy. You can, we are going to do trees today, but you could do absolutely anything. Now, the one thing about what we're doing today is we're simply doing the trees but you could uh, easily have a background. Now, the part about the background, so say you want trees, but you want land and sky, you need to do the, land, uh, the sky and then the land before you do the trees because it is not gonna work to try to get around each tree once you do this. This is fairly abstract, but it's so much fun. Okay, so I've got a lot on my on my Q-tips like this, and they're getting kind of fuzzy, but that'll be great. 
So let's get started with this. I'm going to make my first tree and I want this dark to be pretty solid. I don't really need, I don't really need a lot of gaps yet. I need to refill. And I'm gonna do this again. And you could choose to do like just fall colors. I'm just doing, I just wanna do red because I like red. But you could choose to do oranges and go, you know, as you add the darker color, um, you can go into, you know, browns. And then as you add lighter colors, it'll get a light orange and it'll look just like fall. But in this situation, I am just being abstract. Now your trees can easily intermingle. So I'm gonna touch them a little bit. Don't have to do the six foot rule on these trees. Now I'm already changing a little bit and getting in to just the red, which is beautiful, but we'll come back and do that. Now, what I love about this is that it's starting to get some loose pieces that make you think of a tree with its leaves just off. So here we go. I'm gonna do the last one, get the darkness in there. And they don't have to be all the same shape. I mean, because trees really aren't. Okay, so that's my first layer. I mean, it looks pretty good as it is. Look at those dots. I mean, it's very uh, deep with the darkness. I might put just a tiny bit more darkness on here. And you can spend a lot more time doing this if you want. But for dem demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so now, and look, they get pretty flattened out uh, as opposed to the round part, but this, you know, there's not much padding in there anyway. I think in the end, we just get this circly bit and that's just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna get the red, just go in with the red, nothing, nothing else with it. And I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna cover all the black. I don't wanna cover everything because we'll lose that depth of the darkness. The darkness gives us like a shadow quality. So it gives us this feeling of being further back and um, less light in there, okay? So look how pretty these trees are coming. All right, that was easy. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so finally, I'm going to get into the white and I probably, I definitely did not need this much white. Um, the most you, the most color that you should put on here is in the, in the uh, color you choose and not the white or the black. So I'm making this more of a, it's coming off as a kind of a, because there's black in here, kind of a, a mauve pink or something. So I'm just gonna go around now. And of course these are flattened, so they have a little bit different look now. And I'm just doing it here and there, but oh my goodness, look how fast we produce these trees. I'm gonna get some leaves that are out, you know, more. Boom, aren't they awesome? Look at that. So, they look pretty realistic. I can go back in there and I might just highlight just a little more red, because that is the color I really like. So I'm just gonna touch up here and there. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, now, here's the cool thing. Let's do something really fun for the trunks. Okay, I'm going to use some water and I'm going to get my brush and just get some water in here. I do have a rag and I like to use old, you know, shirts or old rags rather than use a paper towel because I don't waste anything that way. Now, what I'm gonna do is I kind of think this red, a lot of red and some black in there I'm gonna get this really kind of juicy wet, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to touch, let's see if I can show you clearly. I'm gonna to touch right here and I want that, I'm gonna tip it. I hope my camera can catch this. I'm gonna tip it and I want this to be, whoop, we got two going, go, go, go. 
it'll always go over to the <laughs> to the one that's all right there so you might have to help it along okay let's do this again it'll be a skinnier one but we're gonna try this again and I'll I'm kind of upright but I have to do that so you can see what I'm doing okay I'm gonna touch here touch at where I want it to be and then I'm gonna give it a little boost of water keep tap 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 and there it goes there it goes and these are kind of ultra skinny when you do it this way. Maybe I'll turn around this way now. I need a camera person to help me get everything. There we go. And they turn out so cool that way. Although I really love the first one because it's not quite so skinny. I'm gonna wipe this up so I can lay this back down and let you see I'm gonna catch these drips with my towel. But look at that. They're just fun. It's like, uh, you could do a forest, you could do a whole bunch, or you could do them all in a row, and then you could have a bunch of trunks. But um, this was so easy. And now, you could brainstorm. You could come up with a bird, or you could do, I have a, um, a student working on a face so she's taking not 20 i counted out 20 of these that's just the number i just picked that but she's using just one and that's then she's dabbing it around dabbing it around and um, making the most beautiful um, blended skin tone and details on a face so this is limitless but anyway i hope you enjoy making monochromatic paintings using common household things like Q-tips and rubber bands. I'll see you next time.